uh, chronic refusals in terms of polio virus, measles, the, this is very important and alarming issue when it comes to particularly Kilabdullah, Pishin and Quetta districts of Balochistan. Recently, a refusal has claimed three innocent lives. To get more information, here I'm joined by Secretary Health Balochistan, Mr. Aziz Ahmad Jamali. Sir, what is your information? What was the reason behind the death of these three children? Well, I guess it was pointed out in the media, thanks to for that effort because it augmented our effort as well uh, to launch response. Uh, it happened during the measles ongoing campaign which is uh, continued in five districts of Balochistan right now including Kila Abdullah. The cause of death of these three kids that you mentioned has been measles uh, outbreak but uh, what we did after the news uh, surfaced that we sent a special team for that including an expert from World Health Organization team of Balochistan uh, included by an official from the EPI program, the expanded program and immunization, which deals with the measles campaign and other routine immunizations in Balochistan. Uh, they met the parents, uh, all three parents were brothers uh, among themselves, and uh, they are poor people, they do some uh, livestock uh, gathering and other work, and uh, they were not present at home when the uh, teams came for uh, measles vaccination. Uh, that's why uh, the families refused, and later on, when we sent this investigative team, they met the parents. The parents admitted, sadly admitted, that these uh, kids, uh, we lost their lives because of a refusal from the family. Okay, sir. You, you, sorry for interruption. Kil Abdullah is the most uh, sensitive district when it, when it comes to uh, chronic refusals. Do you have any data or information? Uh, what is the number of refusals, particularly about measles and uh, polio? Well, any, any specific data, any guess? On an optimistic side, I'll begin with what is the rate of immunization over there, what is acceptability over Great. there. It's well below 20%, one should admit. It used to be like that, uh, at least uh, two years ago. Uh, with uh, constant efforts in two years, last two years, we brought this uh, immunization rate to 47% in Kila Abdullah, as of today, as I say. Uh, but again, the challenge in Kila Abdullah, the political dynamics, the uh, chronic refusals trend over there, it says that even this uh, achievement of 47% immunization rate is not sustainable. That's our challenge which, which we face right now and we are putting all out efforts to not only sustain it but rather increase it because even at 47% it's hard, well below the national average of uh, the immunization coverage of 87%. That, that, that is good. Currently in how many districts uh, this measles campaign is underway? It's in five districts. Uh, Apart from Kila Abdullah, it's in the southern districts of Balochistan as well. Uh, I, I can mention names later on, but again, uh, we are uh, focusing on five districts right now. Sir, about polio, my, this is apart from this uh, measles. Uh, the policies are being framed in Islamabad, where is the epicenter of the virus is in Quetta, Kila Abdullah and Pishin. As a chief officer of the health, dealing with this issue, have you raised this question that what you people are doing, this strategy has to be evolved here in Quetta? Uh, the concern is correct, but uh, we are on it. Uh, recently, the uh, rep of WHO Pakistan was here in Quetta. We met in the emergency operations center of polio program, and uh, the concern was shared over there as well. Um, but we are taking it as an opportunity rather than uh, the uh, chronic problem, as you say. It is a chronic problem. But our strategy has uh, improvised over the years, or over the last uh, recent months, I would say. For example, in the Quetta block, we have identified uh, 46 super high-risk uh, union councils, shrugs we call those, and we have now uh, focused our efforts on these UCs. And amidst this uh, restricted movement in the COVID scenario, we take this uh, time as an opportunity to arrest polio and fully eradicate it if we focus and control in these 46 uh, union councils uh, effectively. So it's on our cards, it's on our focus, and hopefully uh, we'll expect a good news within months. Uh, thank you, sir. This was Mr. Aziz Ahmed Jamali, uh, the Secretary, Primary and Secondary uh, Health uh, Department, Government of Balochistan. Thanks for your time. We will keep you updated.